uh, Bortle here at the last UDS event with whoa with the squad That's here. We got the squad, here. baby. Hey. Oh, my goodness, Trip, with, uh, my guy. Eight. Right, mm. it's top eight, eight UDS. What were you using, man? Introduce yourself as so well. So I was playing Luna Light, Fire Fist, Zodiac. Featuring Magician Souls. Is this 2020? Absolutely. In 2020. Are you yeah. serious? <laughs> My mm -hmm. goodness. Zodiac like rap peers? Zodiac? <laughs> no rap, rap here. Just a <laughs> very, very small, small Zodiac. Oh, engine. we got that Metabats but, um, on there too. Ooh, yeah. he big um, So before I get into it, I uh, just want to give a huge shout out to Noah Bagelman. Uh, definitely. Nice oh guy. No. Uh, creative I've seen genius. Seen me play Lights before. Yeah, top uh, <laughs> PPG Orlando with a similar build. Uh, yeah. Couldn't make it there on this one, but yeah. Mitch represented yeah, the deck to, well. Had to step it up. Um, also, a huge shout out to Team JRB Jobber. Hi, Jesse. I love um, you. You know, been a OG man. on that team. So, won this, won this. I'll do New it on the job. Stratos Matt is nice, though. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, uh, I played three Chick, three Tiger, two Martin, and Emerald Bird. Uh, pretty much just like the standard Lunalite ratio. Um, we were playing like two Emerald Bird for a while, but you only really need one. Like, it's kind of nice to like discard Martin Search Trap, but. Um, other than that, like you only need one. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I played three Magician Souls and one Apprentice Illusion Magician. Um, I really like Souls in this deck because you can like send uh, Tanky and Barrage or like your Lunalite spells and trap, um, draw, dive deeper, and then um, you can add back the Tanky from Graveyard with Eagle. I'll get into that later, but. Basically, like it, you just go infinite pluses, and then uh, this is the best Garnet in the game. It's, uh, Gene Warped Warwolf. <laughs> Gene Warped Warwolf. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> one Zephyros. Uh, he can extend your combos. Uh, he, he makes uh, the Raid Raptor uh, rank four, which basically gives you three monsters instead of two. Uh, one Fire from uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Buffalo. What the hell uh, is basically, that? his effect is when he's in the graveyard, you can send a total of two Fire Fist or Fire Formation cards from your hand or face up on the field to special them from the graveyard. But um, Eagle, which is the link to, says that you don't have to pay cost to uh, activate fire, uh, fire Fist monster effects. So basically, you can just special summon him from the grave for free if you have eagle. Wow, that's um, spicy. And yeah, that's and also then, a once per turn effect too. So yeah, like, he's a, he is a once. If your eagle effect. lives, you can summon it again on the next turn. Oh, nice. nice. And then uh, one Zodiac Thoroughblade. Uh, oh, twenty twenty. There's no way you play Zodiac. Oh, that's, yeah, no. that's actually insane. That's yeah, insane. they're Beast Warrior, which is uh, very important for like the Eagle and the um, Tiger King. Uh, we just played three it's Barrage beautiful. with the Thoroughblade. Uh, if you drew two Barrages, you could just use one, summon the Thoroughblade, use Thoroughblade effect, discard the other Barrage, draw a card. So uh, it, it came up like a couple times. We didn't play Whiptail, we don't play any Zook, uh, Exceeds, but if Broadbull or Dryden were legal. <laughs> 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 that changes everything. But, yeah. And then uh, for the Hand Traps, we did main Hand Traps. Three Droll and Lock, three DD Crow, and two Nibiru. Oh, wow. Uh, they're probably like the best ones. Like going first or second, like these cards are all insane. Like sometimes like they'll crow or droll you, and then like you just Nibiru them, and win the game. But they're pretty self-explanatory. Did the Nibiru come up for you at all this meeting? Yeah, it was amazing. Drew it quite a bit. Um, it's really good versus like Spiral, as long as you do it before Apollo. Uh, just beat Salad, Mirror Match. It's really good. Um, yeah. As long as they don't have like Gamma. Yeah. But, Can't answer uh, that no more. <laughs> yeah, for the spell and traps, uh, nice. one foolish burial, three foolish burial goods, uh, three zodiac barrage, three perfume, and three tanky. I love um, seeing barrage and tanky together again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's been a long, long time. Um, this card's really good. It can send Zephyros, um, send Emerald Bird to special. It can send Martin to search uh, this trap card. Um, it's like very toolboxy. You can get cards engraved for a tiger to special summon. Uh, goods is probably the best card in the deck. Basically, like you can send your perfume, you can send your trap, or uh, in the side deck we actually play the uh, fire fist counter trap card, which oh. can be set back. With, uh, it only negates spell and trap activations if you have face up tanky and a fire fist monster, but um, it plays around like mine evenly and dark ruler. So going first, uh, game two or three, like. We do that. Uh, Tanky Barrage, pretty self explanatory. It's, uh, it's very nice with the souls as well because you go Barrage, pop Tanky, and then like add the Tanky back to hand so you have a follow up next turn, and you can just send this with souls. It's broken. Yeah, and then we play two of the Phantom Knight Trap. 
Um, it's just like a rank 4 extender. Probably the best one in the deck. It doesn't take up like an extra deck spot like Instant Fusion. Uh, we, we sided it out when we put in like trap cards, but uh, going second at least. It's a. Uh, it was just like probably the best extender. Is that 40 in the main? 40 in the main, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the extra deck. Uh, it's like a rank 4 toolbox deck. So like, you start your combo with a uh, Tiger King, and you set Tanky, and then you search Tiger. Um, he can detach one as well to negate all non Beast Warrior effect monsters on the field until the end of the next turn. And uh, basically, if you have souls and you like use your souls effect, you can just use him to detach one uh, to negate your souls, which doesn't really do anything. But like, you get a little light and grave, so you can tiger it back and then go into the eagle. Um, but uh, Raid Raptor, just extender. Do Garys. Um, a lot of people play the Barricade Blocker, but uh, that card just sucks because this one says Pot of Greed <laughs> and discard it. Like, why wouldn't you draw two cards? You do skip your next battle phase, but uh, or uh, draw phase, but you can also use it to like double uh, like Boral uh, Sword or Appaloosa's attack and uh, go for OTK. Uh, Dweller is probably like the best one you want to end on. Um, Light Dragon Attic Nister. Uh, wow. This card is really cool. It has a, a couple different effects. You can um, detach one to destroy a monster on field up to the number of adding so just one um but it doesn't target so like if they chain like link karibo and grave or something like you can just destroy the link karibo and then like swing with him and boral sword um another effect of his is that if a cyber monster you control inflicts battle damage so like ip is the only one i pay uh, you can special summon a link monster from your grave so if you like linked away the eagle or something you can just special summon it from graveyard so it's like kind of oh. cool and then if a monster or monsters you control would die by card effects you can detach one to save uh, those monsters and uh, it actually triggers the lunalite monster effect so if emerald or martin is attached to it when you save um, they trigger in graveyard so you can either search the trap or special summon one from grave um, Baguska, probably just like the best all around one besides Dweller, like it just hits more decks. Um, like if you don't open very uh, promising, you can just like pass on this and they have to waste a lot of resources just to out it. Um, Exiton, Exiton's insane, like if you Dark Ruler, no more of them, you just make Exiton wipe their whole board. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I only made it once today, but it's Especially just... Especially because no one would expect that. Like, it's like, yeah, it's, it's 2020. Now, right? So even without Dark Ruler, you can just generally... Yeah, yeah, no, you can just like try to bait cards. Like there's so many cards that just like out back row, like Tornado Dragon and Exiton, like you can just play through just about any amount of back row. Um, just eight rank fours, but it is a rank four toolbox back, uh, deck. So then IP, uh, you like to end on it sometimes. You can go into a number of cards like Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Appaloosa. You can even go into the Unchained Abomination. So basically on your field, like if you have a Tornado Dragon, uh, and then you make him, you can Tornado Dragon to blow up a Spell Trap on your field or their field, and he'll trigger to blow up another card on the field. And then during the end phase, he blows something up. So if they go like set four into your board, you just go into this, blow up one, blow up another one, in phase, blow up a third one. That's insane. And, uh, yeah, no, he's, he's very nice. Um, only made him a couple times though. Um, also the Boral Sword, just OTK enabler. And then we play uh, Daruma Doll. Basically, uh, he requires Beast Warrior, Beast, or Wing Beasts. And uh, you can, he's Scrap Dragon for Speller Trap, so you can target one of yours and one of theirs and destroy them. So you can trigger your uh, Tiger in Extra Deck when he dies. Um, you can Special Summon a Lunalite from Grave. Um, and then also when he destroys a monster by battle, you can add back a Beast Warrior Beast or Wing Beast from your Grave or Banish to your hand. So like, or Spiral, if like you DD Crow them and then you're playing and they droll you, you can just make this, like swing over something and then add back the DD Crow so you like, wow. can reuse your hand traps. And then uh, the moment we've all been waiting for. That card the, though. The Fire Fist Eagle. Uh, basically like, uh, he requires two Beast Warrior monsters and then you can return a Fire Formation, Spell or Trap from the field or graveyard to your hand, and then you can Foolish Burial the Buffalo from your deck, and then he just gets played for free. So he basically like climbs up in link rating, so Chick Tiger can become like Boral Sword OTK when like without these two cards, like it's not OTK without another extender. 
Um, you never want to draw this. Yeah, you, you really yeah, don't, don't want to draw this card because then you can't like. I drew that card like six times. That's why he's the one with the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, also like. Adding back tanky is cool because next turn you can just search for another tiger. So if they did like break your board, you, you already have the uh, the follow up play in your hand. That's nice. Um, yeah, and then for the side deck, uh, three dark ruler no more. Uh, best card versus like spiral combo decks. Um, actually drew this in top eight. I lost the Shun Ping's rocket deck. I had it, Goods, and Foolish Burial, and Chicken Hand, and he does the full combo, and then he sets one passes, standby phase, flips anti-spell fragrance, and I have four normal spells in my hand. Unlucky. So, yeah, no, he just uh, had to draw the anti-spell, but I probably would have made used that, made Exiton. Um, two Lightning Storm. Um, Noah decided to play three, but I was really afraid of uh, Mystic Mind deck, so I decided to main, or not main, uh, side two Twin Twisters as well. Uh, I don't think I activated this card once, I just like never drew it, but I did side it in versus Mystic Mind, and I, I did like having it in my deck. Yeah. Um, this card is actually like really cool versus mine, Galaxy Cyclone, so I mean if you draw it, you can just target a back row, or um, if you're under mine, you can uh, basically play four copies with Foolish Burial Goods, which is like the best card in the deck. Uh, you can send Cyclone, and the next turn, like, you're, you're still under mine. They're not doing anything. You just Cyclone blow it up. But, um, and then three evenly matched. Um, going second versus, like, Mirror Match or Trap Decks. It's a very good card. Uh, and one red reboot also. We don't like back row here. I like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, like, even if you lose game one, but, like, mine or, like, Alter Geist, like, you're kind of chilling. And you play a lot of hand traps in the main deck that are just mm -hmm. like really, really bad versus those. Yeah, versus so those you, decks, yeah. you take out the eight hand traps for like yeah. all, all those like cards. Yeah. Back row, Real eight. back row cards. I like it. Um, and then going first, two solemn judgments and uh, one ultimate fire formation, Sinto. Um, basically, if you have like Eagle or you can like do Appaloosa and end on Tiger King and then just set it if you have Tanky. Um, like. You can set it off the Tiger King, or a, uh, if you send it off goods, you can add it back off the Eagle. But it, it negates a Spell or Trap activation and uh, destroys it. But you just have to have Tanky and either this or the Link or the Link guy. board. But yeah, yeah basically like pseudo searchable, like out to evenly, Mystic Mine and um, Dark Ruler. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. Broken. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Shogun's Dojo. Um, you know, everyone in Arizona, Top Caliber Gaming, uh, Team Jobber, everyone who helped me uh, test and let me borrow cards. Yeah, other than that, uh, signing off. Hey man, congratulations again, man. Get top eight. Thanks for taking the bro.